channel welcome Hurrah. i haven't even checked to see what we've got it's a channel update oh, welcome to the channel mm. coffee time got the fire on uh, got a few comments last night um, let's see what we've got uh, YouTube, your videos, um, <clears throat> uh, dashboard, what we at, 3672 subscribers, 72, that was, uh, uh, three, so I picked up three, <laughs> I picked up three overnight. I'll try and make this quick. I haven't even looked at any of this. Um, uh, somebody says you're not supposed to drive in a bike lane, but on Edinburgh you can, out of the hours. Um, better refresh it, although it usually does update itself. Sometimes it's difficult to know how to answer some of these. Um, the way you moan about stuff, you shouldn't be on the road, mate. Uh, dear. Real, well, I mean, it wouldn't be entertaining then, would it? Um, so what, generally what I do, like a comment like that, I'll go and find a clever answer for it. Um, so you have an issue with everyone else using the road. I thought, uh, I, this is a weird one. Me, I recommend Ashley Neal watch his content. I'm sure the attitude to driving will improve. Be the solution, not the problem. What a fucking muppet. So he, he, he tried twice because he couldn't see his comment. See, so the other one was even equally stupid. You should be keeping a two second gap. Maybe more in these conditions. When you're in those conditions, you're not that special though. You probably think you are. Deal with it and chill out. Right, so, I mean, oh, bollocks. When were you in conditions? You know, that is, this is this from this sort of like think of the children sort of thing. Where everybody's got to be safe, you know. I mean, we live in Scotland and Northern Western Europe, and you know the conditions are the conditions. It's you got rain, a lot of rain, wind. Sometimes you get snow. You know, it's it's the conditions. You know, we drive in it. I drive in it. It's not a problem. So this is this is sort of like the so this guy here. <laughs> quit your moaning for fuck's sake you had ample opportunities to overtake but decided to crawl behind and whinge about it <laughs> uh, this other one. Oh dear you appear to be devoid of any modicum of common sense uh, quite laughable really hey ho maybe car driving isn't for you uh, I've been doing it since 1982. <laughs> well, I started driving cars in uh, 1976. Uh, maybe retake a few refresher lessons or get your husband to buy you a smaller car. You feel less committed by it to drive fast. <laughs> All right, hubby, get me a smaller car. What, what can we think of? Mm, I'm thinking about smaller cars. Um, a Lotus Esprit, um, something small. Well, um, unfortunately, the 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 comments uh, have not been abusive enough today. I uh, apologise for that, uh, viewers. Um, hmm, I prefer it when they're abusive. Uh, 
So right, the way you mono and stuff, you should be on the road, mate. Correct. I'll get myself an off-roader. Uh, you've got to watch what you're saying to some people. Like, oh, what's this shit? Right, so I'll, I'll have to go and do a bit of research and answer some of these. <laughs> um, a sort of example of how I answer them. Um, uh, or you could just, you know, sometimes you I over answer things. You just go, oh, well, or something, you know. Uh, so this one was, this guy says, and your problem is? And I goes, I came, for, I looked up uh, how to answer, you know, like this kind of nefarious comment. And your problem is, two question marks. I came for a battle of wits, but you seem to be unarmed. I have neither the time nor the cranes to explain this to you. <laughs> and I just went and found that on Google. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, common sense. Oh, so he's doubling down, doubling down. Poor man. Never mind. Um, so I mean, I've got the I've got the whole channel thing pretty well sorted out. Oh, uh, um, who the fuck's Ashley Neal? Who is this idiot? Isn't it? Polo P Polo powered. Polo three videos. A Toyota headlamp wash. Mark two golf. 14 years, 11 years. Is this your latest video? Nine years ago. I don't even want to watch it. Because... Oh, fuck. 14... He's in some fucking cheek. <laughs> and he telling me that I'm fucking like a Toyota IQ. The music is crap, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what else we got? Toyota GT86 headlamp wash. Well, she's not speeding. The excitement is killing me. So, uh, oh, he's one. He's got some fucking cheek, he? He's want me to slow down and uh, calm down and everything. And he's like filming his golf doing 160 in two seconds. Two setting gap. There's a big gap between your lugs, pal. Hmm. <laughs> You get into some night ring numpties, don't you? Well, I better recommend it and just... It's not abusive, though, is it? All right, I'm going to have to go and figure out how to answer these morons. Um, right, the video's uh, content... I'm finally catching up with it. Unfortunately, I went and I emptied all the phones. Right, that's two of them. This one. Um, and the one that I'm holding... Uh, so that's all the, the shorts being put on. Unfortunately, there's some that I would like to have put on. And I found a really good one. Uh, and I thought, oh, fuck, I should have put that on. So I just, I mean, the problem, when you film it off the the computer, like this here, watch this. That's, so that's me filming it off the computer here, the screen. It's not the same, you know, it, it, it doesn't sound right. So that one there, I would have liked to have put on it. annoyed me because I... See, what I, the, the, what's happening is I'm doing too much. Well, I'm doing a lot. And I'm not getting to cope with it all now, you know? So like, I didn't go anywhere yesterday. And I don't think I'm really going anywhere today. So basically what happens... Well, say when I go into Edinburgh or when I go somewhere. That's when I do a lot of videos. And then I just don't really catch up. You know, get it all all done. Um. So... Uh, I saw the shorts on, and none of them seem to be taken off, but who knows. Um, so you just, like, if some kind of event happens, you kind of maximise it, and then get it all on, and then you move on to the next one. 
as so like you get like quite a lot of views. Um, so that one I put on yesterday, waiting on a plane, dodgy parking, Ingolston, two thousand four hundred sixty-eight. Well, see that that was a particularly dodgy. You know, like you got to wait in a plane. I get that, right? You you're waiting on somebody. And you don't want to pay the the car park. Ooh, welcome but to the channel. I don't know what to park there. there. Understand? You know, there's a lot of people parking in really stupid places. I don't know. You know, um, like there. Maybe waiting for somebody. It's a bit of an awkward place to stop. And uh, hey, welcome to the channel. And the other one was a. Uh, the, the other one was where was it again? Um, there was a really stupid place to park. That ah, that one, this one here. Um, this was right at the entrance to the park and ride. So they're waiting for somebody to get off a bus or something. You know, and that's a really bad place to park. You know, I mean, there's loads of spaces in the car park. So why would you stop there and wait for something to get off a bus? So it's really selfish. You know? Use your brains. Yeah, the people say, well, I'm going to be nasty to these people. Well, that's just a really bad place to park. You know? Again, that was done after, off the computer. Um, so, right, thanks for watching. But we're going to see how the fire is going on. It's like a sort of focal point of everything, this. So it's, I mean, keeping up with all the, um, basically, like that wood there, that's all free. Uh, that came from, came out of the wood. There was a big tree that I got down in South Alloa. It was it had blown down. Well, a part of it, I managed to get that in the van. Cut that up yesterday. Electric chainsaw. Um, that what's in there I bought, so that's them they are. It could prove quite expensive, um, you know. And the, the kindling is from the house clearing stuff that I get off this guy. You know, like the, it's probably some wooden stuff that's just that. So that seems to be working. So um, it could be expensive having a wood burner, but I'm trying to minimise the cost. I mean, obviously, like everything else, ev all heat forms of heat and, and everything costs money. Um, so the damper's open at the moment. Oh, no, it's not open. So if you want it really to go, you open it right up. And then you... So that was quite good that it, it, it went itself without opening the damper. So that was using that kindling there and some... I, I've saved, like, bits of tissue and stuff and, you know, kitchen roll. Um, instead of throwing it in the bin, I, I sort of let it dry out a bit, you know. So really, I'm trying, I'm trying to not, not let the costs run away with us. So that means I have to go out into the wood or stop the van somewhere or the car. So I found some wood in Edinburgh the other day. I'll go and pick it up. The fact that a lot of people aren't using wood burners means that there's more wood lying about for me, and there's no like shortage of wood. There's tons of wood. So I anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye!